Hello guys, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. This series is a series of tutorials on LaTeX programming. LaTeX programming. Okay. Now, uh, in today's uh, video uh, tutorial series today, sorry. We will be looking at how to um, make text styles possible in uh, LaTeX. Now, what I mean by text sty text style is like how to uh, make a text for uh, bold, italicize the text, slant the text, change the font capitalize everything change the color for a period and change the font sizes for a particular distance so on and so forth okay we'll do that today okay but for that what we need is that we need to use we need to know uh, certain commands okay first thing to emphasize to bold the text now to bold the text what you need is that you need to uh, you need this command called as text bf and what this text bf does is that it just uh, whatever command you pull you put whatever statement you put the um, sorry whatever statement you put inside text bf command within the curly braces it has all the commands will be bolded for instance if you see this part over here and if uh, and you see and you see this part over here this part is actually under text bf and this part is actually the one that is bolded and if you see well, this is this this makes the comments be bold so that's why text bf is called as text uh, text bf is called as text bold face okay similarly if you want to italicize the text the command you have to use is text it and if you use that okay the content is italicized like this one so that uh, functions uh, like this is italicized and that is italicized over there and if you want uh, if you want all the letters to be capitalized in a particular sentence particular sentence you need this option called as text sc and you have to write all the contents inside now this content is called as i mean the contents i've wrote inside text sc is actually commands and functions like this and it is written within brackets uh, i mean this is written within uh, normal brackets flower brackets and this content becomes uh, in capital if you guys notice over here this part becomes in capitals let me just zoom out for a short bit. Yeah, fine. This part becomes in capitals. Okay. And one th one more thing. Text SC means text small caps. Okay. So what do you mean by that is suppose if you had to write a capital letter inside the command, okay, inside the command. Okay. That capital letter will have a slightly bigger font when compared to others. So you can see over here all the letters are capital, but the capital letter that was written over here, that is C, is little ca is little more is is slightly bigger in size like even here like in like this the l in, in this sentence like this l is in capital and this t is also capital and these two are again capital over here capital over here whereas all the others are all capitals but in, they're in slightly smaller shape okay similarly you have options to change the font for a short period of a short uh, span uh, that's I think that's the right word span okay for that what you have to use that is the command that is useful for that is text sf meaning text uh, sans serif family sans serif family like okay so uh, what, I, what I'm doing is that uh, I wrote this text sf and I wrote the word distinguished inside it and if you look at this word distinguished it is kind of distinguished from the rest the, the remaining text because the font of distinguished over here it's kind of different uh, from ev uh, every everywhere else okay now uh, other than that you can have a you can have the fonts to have a slant in it for instance uh, for instance if you look at this command text sl meaning text slant okay uh, the word enhanced reading will have a will have the same font but it will be slanted so if you look at this enhanced reading okay uh, word over here it is having the same font as that of everywhere else, but it's slightly s tilted, slanting. It's tilted, okay. Uh, this is this is not this is not to be confused with emphasis because here the font is the same and just only you have just have a tilt, whereas in emphasis or text italics, okay, uh, what you have is that the font itself is different. So this should not be confused. This should not be confused. And similarly, you have another option called as text tt. Now what this does is that it just writes the content in a typewriter format, typewriter font. Okay, so text tt, uh, the word I've written inside text tt is standout and if you look at the word standout over here, 
and it is standing out nicely because it looks the font is different this font is actually the typewriter font okay remember the olden day typewriter that font is over here okay and also you have an option to emphasize the text emphasize the text how how to do that is that uh, that's given by the command backslash emph now you guys you might be wondering hey what does emph mean like can't i do the same emphasis with text it yes it is possible now emphasis has another adva special advantages feature now what you can do is that within the emphasis field you can deemphasize something uh, deemphasize something and that is possible with emphasis command for instance if we look at this sentence this sentence is emphasized and this is entirely written in emph so you might naturally think that entire sentence would be emphasized but not it would won't be the this, this part this sentence is will be emphasized whereas this part emphasized will not be emphasized because it is written inside emph okay now what this will do is that uh, since emph is already written inside emph this part will be deemphasized so as a consequence if you look at this sentence this sentence over here it will come it will come over here this part okay this sentence is emphasized just like your italic italicized sentence or part over here but this word is not deemphasized or it's not in italic so this is the one advantage you get using emphasis function next what you have is that you have the option to change the color of the font and that color change is possible with one library uh, sorry with one package on the top uh, for to make the color change possible you have to use this package called as backslash use package color and mind the spelling it's c o l o r okay and once this is done okay it enables you to have uh, uh it enables you to have a color to have the color because the command color available now once this is done okay what i've written is that i've just written the command backslash color and with inside the argument i've written the word red okay so intuitively as you guys might have figured out everything else afterwards will be red so this sentence is actually red in color okay now but everything else is in black the reason is because of this command over here this reset the font to black uh, reset the font color to a black over here suppose if i were to uncomment this and then i quick build this there you have it everything else from the top to bottom is actually in red color now if i were to remove this up what i have to do is that i just have to uncomment this and uh, quick build this there you have it except this part everywhere else is in black simple enough okay simple enough